Okay, so a little quick tip on how to scrub up before the surgery. All right, um, so you're gonna take this hairnet or a surgical cap and put it on. And this is before you enter into the OR. And then you're gonna take these little shoe covers or I like to call them booties and put them on. So slide them on. There's two. Okay. Now you're starting to look stylish, right? Next thing you want to do is grab a gown. Also grab a pair of surgical gloves. I'm going to grab two. Seven and a half is my size. But I'm going to also grab a size eight, which I'm going to put on before that. Now the scrub techs are really good. Usually they already have a gown prepared for you. They're just waiting for you to pick out your glove sizes. So you're going to take them and you're going to give them to them. Since I don't have a scrub tech here, I'm going to show you how to pretty much gown yourself. For example, for a vaginal delivery. Okay, so you're going to remove the gown from this package here. And this side is not sterile, so you can touch it with your hands. I haven't washed my hands yet. Okay, and when you look at it here, you can look at it and when you want to hold it, you want to hold it like it's an envelope. Because if you look here, you see the bottom of the envelope is right here. You see that piece? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that around. So I'm holding it, so let me show you from my view what it looks like. So from my view, it looks like a letter here. Okay, so you wanna hold it in this direction. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna pull it up and over and hold it like this. And then you're gonna switch hands. And then you see this here? You're gonna grab this, you're gonna go over and around and you can start to see that's the sterile part that's on the inside. And then you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna grab just a little leaflet right here, making sure not to touch the light blue on the inside. And you're gonna pull it out and over like this. And if you have the scrub tech, you would hand it to them like that, okay? But for right now, I'm just gonna take this and you can see that's the white towel you would dry your hands with after washing. I'm just gonna set it down here. All right, and now for the gloves. I found out, and you're just gonna have to find out yourself by trying out, is that I am a seven and a half, but you also wanna get one size larger, and that's gonna go underneath. This is the first glove you wear. For me, it's gonna be a size eight, and then on top of that, I will put the seven and a half, so it makes it more of a tighter fit on top. All right, so if you are giving it to a scrub tech, you gotta remember the outside is not sterile, right? So you can just grab the corner right here, and you start to pull back, and if there's a scrub tech there, you would go like this. They would grab the inside. I'm just going to pretend that was me. And they would grab the inside like this. And they would hand it and they would pull it out of here and take it. And as they're pulling it and taking it, you continue to open up. Okay? And they will pull this out from you. But since I don't have one, I'm just going to go like this. And then just drop it down in front of me. Again, so I'm just going to grab the corners, pull it out. A scrub tech would normally grab that. But since they're not here, I'm just going to drop it down. Okay, so we can pretend that this is the sterile surgical uh, field over here. Here's the gown, the napkin we're going to wash our hands with, and the two glove sizes. Of course, you're not going to touch them the way I did, but just, again, pretending this is sterile, so we don't want to touch them. Okay, so one thing before you go to wash your hands, what do I need to do before I go wash my hands? I need to remove any bracelets or jewelry that I have here on my fingers and put those Make sure to grab yourself a surgical mask and put this on. Okay, so take your surgical mask. A lot of people do it different ways. Some just, you know, crease the middle here. Some can, like, they bend these edges so that um, it pushes away from the face a little bit, prevents some fogging. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it on your face here, right? You're gonna put it up, you're gonna tie it up there, right? Starting to look kind of cool here, right? You know, you can readjust in a moment. Now the thing is when you're gowned up, see this pull down here like this? When you're gowned up, you don't want to, and you're sterile, you don't want to touch your face because you notice this is not sterile and touching it. So make sure if, if you don't want, if you're itching, you don't want to touch your face. You can tell somebody else to touch the face for you, to readjust, to itch for you. But with your sterile gloves, don't touch your face. So then you take this, put it around, tie it up, and put it here okay so we're gonna wash our hands next and you'll see these little cool looking sponges and then there's this little piece here 
So one thing I learned is before you wash your hands, open it. Not because of sterile reasons, but because if your hands are wet, it's like you're just pulling on this and your hands are sliding and you can't open it. So and I was just standing there and you know, the resident and the tenant are watching is laughing and my hands is slipping like this. He's like, yeah, you should have opened it first. So, all right, open it first. I'm trying to save you guys those laughs. All right, and you see it's a little bit soapy. So there you go. And we're gonna set it aside here. We're gonna turn the water on. Okay, so normally you would have an automatic sink, but I'll show you how not to do it if you didn't have an automatic sink. So you can turn the water on. All right, we'll get it going. And there's a certain technique you wanna follow when you're washing your hands. You wanna wash from the tip of your fingers all the way down to your elbow. So I'm gonna repeat this again. You wanna wash from the tips of the finger and work your way down to the elbow. Why don't you want to do this? What would be the problem? Is it would everything was just drip back down your germ. So you always want to wash this way, keeping your hands up. Okay, so get your hands wet, you see like this. And be careful, don't hit the sink, right? You don't want to do that. You want to be able to keep that or else you're gonna get the germ. So you want to watch where you're going, look around, all that stuff. So then you can take out your sponge here. There's a little something for your nails inside here that if you want to use it, you can clean like underneath the tip of your nails using this thing right here. Uh, I don't see a lot of people use it if you got short nails, but just in case you need to, you can clean under your nails with that. Drop it in the garbage, drop it in the sink when you're done. And you're gonna work from where? The elbows or the tips? You're gonna work from the tips of your fingers, right? And you wanna take the time. So some people ask me, well, how long should I work on this? Uh, great advice a resident gave me is they told me you want to wash longer than the resident or the attending. So if you start at the same time as the resident and the attending, maybe if you start before them, you definitely don't want to finish before them. You want to wait till they're done. That's how you know you've gone a long time. A lot of people say about five minutes or so is a good time too. But yeah, alternate between the ends, you know, work. Take your time, don't rush through it. Um, Start at the tips of the fingers, go under the fingernails, work that, go, go between the fingers, taking your time to do that. So you're gonna do that on both sides, okay? And again, take your time. I would say minimum five minutes, so you do that, right? And then after you do a little bit, start with a tip and rinse, and again, you, you don't want to go backwards, you don't want to drop your hand. You want to make sure you go from there to there. All right? So you want to get the whole thing. When you're done, just drop it in the sink or drop it in the garbage. Again, make sure to rinse it. Make sure not to touch the faucet. All right. In one direction. Okay. Most things are automatic. They'll be done. If you really need to, use your elbows to push it. But, or don't. Let somebody else turn it off. All right. You don't want to break that sterile field. And then you're going to go inside. And the scrub tech is going to give you the napkin to dry your hands. So once you get inside, the scrub tech is going to give you that napkin. They're going to, they're going to hand it to you, okay, to dry your hands. So you get, when you, you grab it, use one side here and work your way down, okay? Everything is work your way down. Make sure you dry it. Because if you don't dry it well, then your gloves are going to be a little difficult to put on, all right? And take it, other side. And again, start at the top, dry it, work your way down. If there's a garbage, drop it in there. If not, just drop it. And next you're ready for your gown. Let me show you a little something about the gown. If you take a look at the gown and you grab it, you'll see that there's two like little pockets here. There's one here for the left hand. If you turn it around, there's another one here for the right hand. So what a scrub tech would do is they would hand it to you this way. So basically what's going on is right over here, you're putting your hand over here this way. And on the other side, you're putting your hand over here this way. Okay, so again, you see my hands tucked in over here this way, my hands tucked in over here this way. 
So you're going to grab it and then you're going to spread your hands out. But be careful where you're looking, okay? So you're spreading your hands out like that. Careful not to touch anything. And you can just slightly begin to pull your fingers through, but not all the way. You don't want them all the way out, okay? So you still want them to be inside like that. And somebody's going to come around. They're going to, you're not going to do this, but somebody else is, is going to come around and they're going to tie the back for you and tie that. So you're tied up there. Okay, so let's assume somebody just tied me up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the gloves on. A little tricky, but you got them. Okay, so for the gloves, what we want to do is we want to take it. Remember, the fingers are staying inside here. And we want to open it up just like this. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to grab like this, okay? Notice my fingers are still inside. We're going to grab, pull this down. All right, pull this there, go like this, pull these open, and take your time. Again, if you have a scrub tech, they would have already opened this up for you, all right? Take some practice, so don't worry, just try. Okay, and then you want to go and grab one of these gloves and just uh, again making sure not to touch it with your fingers and work your way and now what you want to do is be able to slide your hand into there with the white part of the cuff still inside and then pull this down like that you can adjust this later once you get the other glove on okay so then you're gonna go you're gonna grab the other one you're gonna do the same thing. Put your hand in there, slide the cuff. Maybe you can tug on this a little bit. Pull it down like that. And there you go. And then go ahead and adjust those gloves. Okay, so we got one pair of gloves on. Vaginal delivery, this would be all right. But we can go ahead now and we can put on the second pair of gloves. So normally again the scrub tech they would have this and they would have it open for you all right and they would take this and they would hold it like this and you would put your hand into it and you'd push in all right and you would get they would have it open and you get your hand right into there all right and then you would just adjust the other one on top and make adjustments same thing they would go like this to you and then you would just put your hand inside it with one big motion just inside there and then you would just make your own adjust adjustments after bit of a struggle here for me but i want to at least give you guys an idea of what to expect all right all right now this is the part i had to learn really well because you're gonna have to hand this off and i always wondered do i hand with my right hand do i hand with my left hand but one thing here is you got to look at this, right? You're grabbing onto the blue. Whoever you hand it to, whether it's a scrub tech or somebody who's not sterile, they are going to hold on to the white. So you hold on to the blue. It's the side that's closest to you with your right hand. This is the way I think about it. Think about what's the right thing to do. The right thing to do is to hold on with my right hand. So if you look here, we're going to hold on with the right hand and we're going to pull the string with the left hand, okay? So what you're gonna do is gonna hand this to somebody. What's the right thing to do? Grab it with your right hand and hand it to the right person, okay? So you're gonna hand it there and they're gonna take it and you're gonna spin to your left. So the last thing to do, L for last thing, is spin to the left, L for left. So you, they're gonna take it, right? And they're holding on to it and you are spinning around, spinning around, spinning around, and then you're gonna grab it from them, right? And then you're gonna tie yourself up. Just whatever, no special knot. Make a little bow tie, right? And now you're scrubbed in. Okay, so to review, when you're scrubbed in, one, what you do not want to do you don't want to touch your face. If it itches, ask somebody who was not scrubbed in to do that. Another thing is, let's say you're switching with somebody next to you. 
you don't want to switch this way you want to switch you each have your backs to each other so you give your backs to each other and you rotate around and you switch with each other another thing what do you do with your hands right because you're, you're a med student you don't know what to do yet what do you do this is the sterile area right around your chest right so just keep your hands there keep your hands on your heart and pray to God <laughs> just keep them right there right anything that's down there probably you're touching the table so it's not sterile you don't want to do that um, the back of somebody's scrubs is not sterile so it's pretty much just like the front and the arms here what's one of the good things to do is when they're set up with the patient just take your hands and put it on the patient put it on the patient's legs just put it right there that way you know you're in a sterile field if for some reason you feel like you're gonna faint or anything honestly scrub out just leave it's fine you can always come back and scrub in just the worst thing to do is to mess up like a whole sterile field because then they have to redo everything and you don't want to do that chance of infection so just if you take yourself out that's much better than taking out the whole entire field all right and that's it and honestly practice 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 i'm sure there's a bunch more tips and you'll get a lot more you'll learn a lot more along the way but this is just a little something to start you you guys out so best of luck enjoy it okay so what to do when you're, when you're done well the top glove is going to be very bloody so you'll probably take that off and you'll throw that one away and you'll probably start helping the patient you know moving them from the stretcher to another stretcher take them back to their room all right but at the end when that's all done and the patient's out of the room and you're ready to go out you undo this you can just rip it off ripping it off is kind of fun right just pull on it oh, there you go that's kind of fun right you can take this head thing off take that off just pull on this there you go and um, usually the middle is tied so you pull on the middle right so you pull in the middle like that tears it off and you pull on the front okay like all right so just make sure not to touch your scrubs on the side tear that off and when you pull it down look the gloves are already over the blue right so you just make sure to pull that that way and then to do the same thing this way right it's gonna go like that so that when it comes off it's all together in a ball and then you can go discard that discard your booties discard everything so enjoy it hope it helped you guys later